Well, hey there, team, and welcome back to the channel. And welcome to Duskers. I'm not sure which channel it was mentioned on. It might have been the other one, but someone just mentioned Duskers and how that brought them to the channel back in the day. And I thought, yes, the perfect excuse to revisit it. So here we are having another look at it in, I suppose, in 2021. So Duskers is a... Uh, uh, survival horror roguelike sort of game. Um, aesthetically, it's so cool. It it really does uh, channel the probably the vibe from like Aliens, where they have the the marine cams, so you're sitting back in command watching them go in. You sort of do that in this, but with uh, like little drones. You can manually drive them around uh, remotely. But uh, the key to this game is giving them commands and they sort of sweep through the ship and, and the, the limited visibility uh, and general info range and trying to make decisions based on what little you can discern of what's going on in the active environment is key to the horror loop. And it's wonderful. Anyway, we should play it. Play game. Sounds good. Strongly recommend that you take the drone. Ah, she'll be right. Would you like to launch the training simulation? Let's see what I remember. It has a very rudimentary sort of, you know, coding interface, a command interface. It's it's not too complicated. It's very Hollywood and, um, you know, there's a lot of shortcut commands that make it a, very easy for you to, you know, it's not like you're writing code or anything like that. But, yeah, Hollywood hacking is what I call it. You see that in a lot of good video games. That they give you minimal input, but they make you feel like a boss. Initiate emergency distress. Seek yeah, yeah, let's go. Recommended course of action. Initiate manual contact with vessels. Require necessary resources for travel. Oh, okay, cool. Hmm. Okay, yeah. It never really occurred to me what the greater loop was for this. Um, externally modified log. Would you like to read it? Sure. What's going on here? Uh, gather intel from derelict ships. Gather resources necessary. Uh, search for survivors. Okay, let's go. Right, so now we need to uh, pick where we're going to jump to. This would be recognisable for most people that have played, you know, FTL, that sort of stuff. We can travel to any of them, but it looks like we've got a ship here where we are at the moment. Government C class, infestation types zero. Oh, well, that's good. Scrap capacity 48. Or is that... Yeah, okay, let's go. Board. Let's get in there. So, these are our little little drones, our little Roombas that we're going to send in. We can have reserve. I believe repairing and all that's actually a bit of a pain. So you end up sort of replacing it. It doesn't take much for them to die. You encounter a monster, there's a lot of one-hit death sort of things in this. Um, there's not much I can do. These loadouts are kind of set. We've got a motion detector, gather, Generator, which will be helpful to turn on power sources inside this uh, ship. Tow, if we find like a defunct uh, robot. And interface, so we can, you know, talk to the onboard systems. Anyway, space board, let's board the derelict. It's very moody, this game. I love it. Uh, we're on the Roanoke. Okay, let's go. Open airlock one. Oh wow, you're gonna really you're gonna tell me how to do it all. Now if I press these, so you can get in there and drive the little dudes, and they all see It's kinda cool how this sort of visual interface is a little bit different. Um Now how do I get back to the map? It's like space bar. There we go, cool. So you can do a lot of work from here. So um let's see. Type help to open the salvage operation manual. Uh control plus for history, oh, control plus arrow keys for history and cursor movement. Okay. Oh, it can change the console font, font size. Oh, let's go. Let's turn that up. Probably make it a bit more watchable for you guys as well. Anyway, so if I just go A1, it opens A1, which is very cool. Now, as far as, uh, because we don't have a sector, technically, um... Motion detector? No, let's try uh, motion. Nice. 
But it, yeah, okay. I'm surprised. I, I would have thought the first sector would have a name, but it doesn't, and that's okay. Um, let's go help because I can't remember all the commands off the oh basic commands. Open, close, exit, navigate, right? Oh, look at that, navigate three from drone view. That's cool. One, three, navigates drone. Tr oh, I didn't realize that. That's kind of cool. Um, yeah, two R14. I guess we're just going to have to go in there manually. That's not the end of the world. Right, now we've essentially got the room available, right, which is R2. I probably could have guessed that it was R2, if we're being perfectly honest, but that's okay. Um, so who's got the motion detector? Tweaky. Who is one, which we went in there. So we can just type motion again. In fact, we could probably press up. No, no, no. Motion. Nice. Because if you've only got one dude that can do the one thing, the game is smart enough to know that, okay? Now, we've got a power node in there. We'll have a bit of a look, right? We've got scrap, which can be gathered. And we've also got a power node that can be interfaced with, right? So essentially, the gatherer, who is who is one, we could, we could just tell him to gather. And he probably will just automatically path to gather within this, build, within this room, which is pretty cool, right? Um... Now, who's got the generator? Luke, right? So what we would probably want to say is, uh, let's go, let's see if I can remember this. Uh, na N for nav. I think N you can just do short. Oh, okay, hang on. Hang on, let's try N to... Oh, they might have changed it. And you, I feel, you could write in shorthand, but now if it wants to auto-populate, that's fine. Uh, navigate to, to R2. Let's try that. Navigating drone 2 to R2. Yeah. So there's a whole list of the commands in there. It's not very complicated, but it's probably more complicated than what you're used to if you've never done anything uh, with any sort of, like, command prompt. Um, so we've navigated him in there, and we can just go generator like that and he'll go and plug himself in to the power source and he's powered up all those rooms which is pretty cool um we don't have a the motion scan is handy for sure i don't think it really got anything um so for example what we could do is we could go uh nav one oh i guess you can just press n space and if you don't look at the command prompt it's pretty straightforward nav one to r3 we'll go There we go. So what's that we found? That looks like that's a dead, a dead drone, right? Drone recommended command info. Okay. Cannot use tow on destroyed drone. Only uh, look at interface is too big. Actually, let's make that small. Only disabled drones. Okay. Okay, so uh, I'm not sure if we can, like, loot that thing, perhaps. Who's got gather? One has gather. Can I just go gather? Nothing to gather. Okay. So because he's just straight up destroyed, not much that we can do about that. What we could do is go motion, right? And we can scan the adjacent rooms, and that gives you an idea that, like, for example, R5 has two doors, and that's it, and they're both sealed, and it's all clear. So we could probably go down to R5, no worries. So if we go D2, we can remotely open the door. Um, and then I suppose we could go in one, well, it's gotta go in space one, um, and we'll go to R5 and it should path straight there. Oh, look at that. Nice. So we can go gather, which is cool. Oh, gather all, is it? That's cool. I like that. So we're picking up some resources. So I think those blue lines are indicating confirmed like walls, uh, essentially. Let's just go. I mean, we might as well go. We'll do the motion anyway, just because it's good practice. But I'm pretty sure R4 was clear. So we'll go D5. Um, and then we'll go in space one, space R4. Yeah, the all. Now, as best I can understand, this 
ship. Your generator is disconnected. Oh, whoops, my, my, my bad. Let's get three in play, right? So I think this whole ship is done. Return all drones. Yeah, okay. To exit, return all drones or navigate all R1. Okay. Okay, so I think, uh, yeah, I was just going to scoot through. You can confirm all the walls, basically, but we should be good. So I, I suppose if we go nav all R1. Now, those doors and rooms aren't powered, but the doors were already open, so it's not like they auto-close. So we're going we're gonna to encounter, like, monsters, essentially, and we don't really have the ability to fight them. Right. Exit. Um, so we're going to want to try and flush them out airlocks or even just try and redirect them through opening and closing doors and using motion detectors. Such a great game, though. Um, scrap collected, blah, blah, blah. Very good. Six out of 50. Okay, so we have a, a capacity, a max capacity for our scrap. Um, now, see, it says capacity there for the ship. I think you can actually change ships, like a ship config. You can take over a different ship. I'm not that worried at this point. So th that's going to cost two distance to jump. Where is our jumps to? Oh, okay. Propulsion, six out of six. Infestation types, stable. Stable's always good. Let's just jump. Let's just jump to this one. All right? You can see we use two propulsion. Um board. Not much we can do. The motion detector, you can see the ammo on it, or whatever you'd like to call it. Not replenishable. Alright. Um Was there a way to upgrade? Your drones. I don't think there is like here, but you can you can spend the scrap as a currency. I think for upgrades and that. My name is Captain. Ugh. A transmission I received was over twenty days ago, excluding automated relays. I'm overriding this log in the hopes that another survivor finds it here. Yeah, right. Crew four holds electronics. Directive potentially illicit. Okay. Here we go. Um, now look, the game's not going to prick me, I don't think, um, I don't think there are other doors, so we're just going to go straight in, stuff it. Can I, uh, let's say we go nav 1 to R2, like, will it figure that out? Could not locate, hmm. Oh, I think there's a thing like start. There is. There's like a there's a go code to to get the game going. Um, close all D. Exit. Help. Info. Navigate. Basic controls. Advanced commands. Alias. Oh, Jesus, what is going on there? Let's leave that alone. Commandeer. The current derelict ship. We talked about that. Not that worried about that just yet. Um, strat uh, tips. Cool. What's Control C do? Clears the input line. Okay, so there's some interesting stuff. It might be Enter. Um, help. Basic controls. Advanced commands. No, it's not a strategy. Doors. Safe start. Here we go. The first room. And any adjoining rooms with open doors are initially safe. Right. Okay. Uh, well, whatever. 
We'll just drive in there. But normally, uh, I could swear there is a there's like a go code to just get the ball rolling. Right? Okay, cool. So, um, who's got motion? One has motion, so we could just go straight up. All right, we got a we got a bogey. We got a bad boy over there. Um, let's go in three to R three to get someone. You know, just get the ball rolling, sort of thing. Because we don't have the doors powered or anything like that. Aha, that's what we wanted. The generator is there, so let's go um, in 2 to R3. Uh, we only have the one gather, which is on one, so in 1 to R3. It's going to get a bit busy in there. Uh, we'll go genera generator. Right. Go gather all. Three's in the way. N3 to R2. Can you get to it now? Clip it on each other. Look at that. N1 to R2. No, 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 no. N1 to R2. So we just got to be careful of that sort of stuff. Right. That's interesting what that's powered there. Um, in one to R3. In that case, I probably could have just gotten in there and manually sort of scooted them around a bit, but it's good practice still. Right, so we're gonna see what's going on. Heard enemy into room R4. That's probably a good idea to be perfectly honest. There's an airlock there as well. So what we're going to do is D7. And we'll have D7 ready to go again. And then once we get a blip, there we go, D7 closed. So we've moved him across. So that's good. So D8, we can open up, ready to go. Let's go in one, two, well, it's not telling me what that's what, what that room is, is it? Hang on. Drone info. Swap to exchange upgrades, or we could tow him, which we will. We'll tow him. All right, who's got the tow? Hmm. Matt does. N3 to R5. Oh, there's a generator in the first room that I didn't notice. Hang on, what, that's, what's that about? Well, all these doors are sort of closed. It's because I didn't explore that room properly. Um, toe. In... Three to R1. Uh, we're going to go in two to R2. We're going to go motion. Generator. I also think we can power one room from our ship, if I recall. Oh no, that's a... Uh All right, airlocks and doors. Yeah, of course. I was trying to figure out what it was saying there. Hmm. Advanced commands. Oh, 
Okay. That's all right. Um, I'd like to get up into room six, so let's just go D5. Right, nav one to R6. That's nice. Gather all. That's fuel. Wonderful. Okay, we've got a few options here. Now we could flush the creature out the airlock, but here's the problem with that. It um it can hurt the the stability of R4. And I ultimately want to go into R4, but there are a few options that we've got here, right? So let's go D8. Let's go D5. Let's go motion. And we'll go D7. And we will shepherd him back in. Like so. Cool. Now if we go D3. Nav 1 to R4. We'll go and investigate R4 without having to blow the airlock. And we'll just leave that dude in here. He's not really doing much. All right. Gather all. You can redock at dock two. That's pretty cool, isn't it? Um, so we'll go in all to R1. A closed door is blocking the path. Oh, right. Silly me. Um, let's go. Can I just go generator R3? No power inlets nearby. Yeah, I could have. Could have sworn. That's all right. I'll have to look it up. I, I wish that it had a better less list of, uh, you know, like derpy sort of power. Oh, there you go. Hang on. Power R3. Oh, hang on. Help. Power. Remotely powers a power inlet. There we go. Power R3. Why is that not working? Power R2. Powers a known power inlet remotely. Hmm. Maybe I'm misunderstanding something there. That's okay. That's all right. Nav 2 to, let's say, R3. Generator. D6. Oh, look at that. He's still got the nav command locked in. Mm, that could be dangerous, actually. I mean, we're okay, but we'll have to keep that in mind. I'll forget for sure. Nav all R1. Actually, I could have moved him as soon as I opened the door, so it's all good. Exit. Off we go. Got a bit of loot. Got an extra dude. Might be able to fix him up. Modifications. Oh, we'll come to that in a minute. Let's, um... Propulsion. Why does it say plus one? Let's go there. Okay. Let's go mod... Repair hit points by 10. Repair full amount for 11, which is kind of fortuitous because we have that much. So let's do that. Execute. All right, Cliffy's up and running. Look at that. Zero, uh, designation zero five. Um, oh, here we go, we can upgrade
Oh, stealth and stun. I bet they're on that guy. On the new guy. Let's see. Board. Yeah, there you go. Let's, um... Control. There we go. Let's get Cliff involved. So he's got stealth and he's got stun. Hmm. What do they do? I don't know. I don't know. It's a drone config. Drops proximity stun mine. That's cool. Toggles stealth field. Okay. That makes sense to me. All right, let's go. Squeeze another one in nice and quick. Um, cool. Oh, unusual is that? Um, enter. Begin. Begin. That's what it is. Send in the first two drones and it plugged straight into a generator. I knew I'd figure it out eventually. All right, so I can't remember. Yellow results inconclusive. Right, right, right. Okay, well... Let's see if we can't go D8. Come on. There could have been a dude in R4 moving down that we can't be sure about, so... I there we go, that's what we want. Alright, so R4 is inconclusive, which is interesting. That's it's kind of a bit scary. Um, well, I mean, we actually know that there's something in there, but if we were to clear it out, we can attempt to clear it out. In fact, maybe me putting something in there straight away has kind of muddied the waters a bit, but oh well, so it goes. D5, let's go. Let's send in Cliff. I think Cliff's probably the man right now, right? So we're going to go nav 4 to R5. Right, he's got, he's got a good kit. We can change it all around. We can mix them up. Nice, okay, so there's a turret. Now, if we can activate that, we can zap dudes. Uh, one's got, what's his name? Tweaky. R5. Might want to take the gather off of him. Well, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Um... Okay, we're good down the bottom. So let's go D10. Um, nav. Oh, shit. Oh, okay, there's something moving in there. That freaked me out. Nav 4 to uh, whatever, the, whatever the fuck's below us, I guess. I can't tell, actually. So, um, what happens if I type info? Does that do anything? All right, let's go. Let's go, Cliffy. Let's go have a squeeze, mate. Power inlet. Okay, nice. No, no, no. All right, so... We don't know what the go is with R6. So what do we want to do here? This power inlet's interesting. Um, okay, let's go nav to the R7. Can I just go power R3? No, like, now I think maybe my ship can't power. Or is it power 3 or something? Or power? No. Okay, that's fine. 
generator. Right. What we might do is try and lock that dude out when he moves off. Come on. There we go, nice. Right, so, hmm. So we've got a generator here. Because I would like to check R6, but it's tough because I'm struggling to power all the doors at the same time. Well, look, at the very least, we can go into D9, right? So we'll go nav 1 to... What is that? R2, is it? R2. Gather all. Let's go motion. Let's go D7. And see if we can herd all of those dudes into that. Oh, yeah, let's go. Nice. Love to see it. D6. Nav 1 to R8. Let's have a look. Alright, so R4 and R6 are a little bit suspect, right? Um, what can we possibly do about that? Because uh, we can't really power that turret because the interface is going to be in one of those two rooms. That's the real pain. So I guess in an ideal world, we would be able to... We kind of want to be... Let's go A1. Oh, wait. D11's open? D11 was always open? Oh, okay. Uh, nav 3 to R6. That's the one thing I was... Okay, I was trying to figure out how to open the D11 tour. But it was always open. And there's a bloody console in the first room. Okay, I need to remember that. That happened last time. We got in all sorts of hot water trying to do that. Okay, now who's got interface? Three does. All right, so we're going to go nav three to R3. We're actually going to go nav all to R3. Right, and we'll go generator D5. All right, interface. Interface is not powered. Interface ship scan. Oh, yeah, let's see what that's about. Oh, how handy is that? Um, defense survey. What's survey do? Interface list. This list. Okay. So, what we're going to do is go defense. All right. That thing's hot. Now we're going to go D8. And wait for the fireworks. There you go. So, the question is, is there anything else still in R4? Maybe. Like, it's possible, but you'd think the longer we wait, the li more likely it's going to wander out. Um... 
Who's my gatherer? Let's go in one to... What is that down the bottom? Ah, uh, I can't tell what that is. R6 maybe? R6. Alright, I reckon it's pr probably pretty safe to say that this dude's... There's no dudes left in there, so what we're gonna do is... Defense, right? We're gonna go nav all R1. Except I want to power, uh, what is it? R3. Who's got the power? Generator. In two to R3. In four to R three. A one. Um, generator. D eight. D eight is blocked. Really? That's kind of distressing, isn't it? How do I get there without exposing the rest of the team? N4 to R6. Oh, so whoops, N4 to R6. I'll write G6 then. All right, we're gonna go D11. So we put D3, um, stealth. How does this work? It's on a timer. All right. Okay. Destroyed. Okay, we're okay. So the dead bodies have clogged the area, basically. Um, okay, let's go D4. Um, N1 to... R5, I suppose. Closed door is blocking. Oh, A1. My bad. In for R1. Oh, this, so the stealth recharges. Okay, that's perfect. Struggling a bit there with the we're good was it was it exit no in all r1 and process command navigate navigate r1 let just send everyone navigate all r1 all right
something a little, uh, you know, with a lot of... And then was it exit that... There we go. Perfect. Look at that. Not bad at all. So there you go. Duskers. What a great game. It's always good to... Uh, any excuse to come have a look at this and, you know, chucking things up on this channel seem like the perfect one. Anyway, that went a little bit longer than I thought, but so it goes. Team, thanks again for joining me. We might just leave it there for the time being and I'll catch you guys on the next one.